problem where we need to construct a confidence interval for the population mean mu when the population standard deviation sigma is unknown. Here's the problem. Suppose the CEO of a large company wants to estimate the mean commute time mu for her employees. The CEO selects a simple random sample of 40 employees. The sample mean commute time for this sample is 25.6 minutes and the sample standard deviation is 8.5 minutes. We are to construct the 95% confidence interval for mu. The first thing we should do is define what mu is. Mu is the mean commute time for all company employees. What confidence interval do we want to use? When we are est trying to estimate a population mean and the population standard deviation is unknown, we want to use a t interval. What are the conditions that are, must be met before we can actually construct the t interval? We must have a simple random sample and our sample mean has to either be normal or approximately normally distributed. Do we have that in this problem? Yes, the problem tells us that we have a simple random sample, so that condition is verified. Is x bar approximately normally distributed? Because our sample size is 40, which is greater than 30, by the central limit theorem, we do know that x bar is approximately normally distributed. Now we are ready to put the formula for the t confidence interval down. What is the formula? The formula is given by our estimate for the population mean, which is x bar, plus or minus a t critical value with n minus 1 degrees of freedom, multiplied by the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Let's look and identify what parts of the formula that we already know. The problem tells us that the sample mean commute time for our sample of 40 employees is 25.6 minutes. Our sample standard deviation is 8.5 minutes. And our sample size is 40. The only part of the formula that we do not know at this point is the value of our for our t critical value. How do we find the t critical value? We need to look in a t chart. We need to look for the critical value that corresponds with a 95% confidence interval and it has 39 degrees of freedom. So let's go to our t chart, our t table, and find the critical value. In our t table, we go to the bottom row of the t-table and we look for the confidence level that we're using in our problem. We are using the 95% confidence level. Now we need to go up and look for 39 degrees of freedom. 39 is not in our chart, so we must go to the degrees of freedom that are less than 39. We use a t-critical value of 2.042. So we have the t star with 30 degrees of freedom is 2.042 and we are ready to put these values into the confidence interval. So we, our confidence interval will be 25.6 plus or minus 2.042 multiplied by 8.5 divided by the square root of 40. Putting this into the calculator, we find that our 95% confidence interval is given by 22.9 minutes up to 28.3 minutes. Now the last thing for us to do is to write the English statement that corresponds to our confidence interval. The English statement should read, I am 95% confident that the true mean commute time for all company employees is between 22.9 minutes and 28.3 minutes. And we have our 95% confidence interval from you. Let's go ahead and take a minute and show you how to do it using the TI calculator. To do a confidence interval in the TI calculator, we first go to STAT, we go over to TESS, we want a T interval, which is down 
number eight. So go down to eight and hit enter, and it brings up the T interval screen. We do not have our data in a list. We only have the sample statistics, so we will use stats. Our sample mean is 25.6. Our sample standard deviation is 8.5 minutes. Our sample size is 40, and we want to do a 95% confidence interval. We are ready to calculate the interval. We see that the interval was 22.9 minutes, like we found, up to 28.3 minutes, like we found using the t-table. So either using a t-chart or the calculator, you can construct a confidence interval from u when sigma is not known by doing a t-confidence interval.